Spotify DJ Hacks. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and hidden features of Spotify that'll help you out as a DJ. As all of you probably know, we can no longer use Spotify as an integrated streaming service in our DJ softwares, but there's still a lot of great reasons why DJs should still have a subscription to Spotify and still use it on a daily basis, such as music discovery, playlist, and figuring out what songs go together. So let me show you the first kind of hidden feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to our settings, and then we are gonna go down to playback. So now we are in playback. So what we are going to do is we are gonna go down here. A lot of people may not know, but there is a built-in equalizer in Spotify, which I found really cool. So you could click over here and then you could have all of these different pre-made equalizer settings or if you guys like customizing your own equalizer, which most DJs do, then you could mess around with all of these and make your own custom equalizer. Now I sat and did this for hours testing it out and testing it out and also testing all of the pre-made equalizers. And the one that I found to get the best sound was the R and B. So it looks like this, it goes down and then it goes back up. Now this is beneficial for DJs because as DJs, if we're using Spotify to discover music and find new songs, we are gonna wanna be able to hear the songs the same way we would hear them if we were playing them through our big sound systems when we're DJing. So this gives us a more realistic insight of what the song is actually gonna sound like on high quality speakers and in a high quality format. So I found that having this setting on and having the EQ set to R and B really helped me find, really helped me know if I really want to play this song or if I don't. So I definitely recommend messing around with the equalizer. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is still in playback. So we'll go to playback and then we are going to go, we are going to go over here. There is going to be um, enable, so when you first start the app, it is going to have this setting on automatically, enable audio normalization. So we are just gonna turn that off. So we turn that off. So turn off, enable audio normalization. And then we go back over here and then we are gonna go down to audio quality. We're gonna click on audio quality and then streaming, cellular streaming. We are gonna set the streaming quality to very high. Again, this is the same thing, the same reasons why we would wanna do this with the equalizer. This is to get the best quality sound so we can know what the song is really gonna sound like when we DJ with good speakers. So I found this to be very helpful with my music discovery and it really, really helped me a great amount. Now, another thing is I made a separate video about it, but I'll just show you guys. You could actually set a crossfade so we could have this crossfader, you could choose however however many seconds before the song ends that you want it to crossfade. And then you could also check this, this um, tab over here, which is gapless playback. So, and then we could also do auto mix. Now this is not an auto mix like you would think of with DJ Pro AI or Serato or Virtual DJ's auto mix. This is just a simple crossfader. So at the amount of seconds that you chose, it is just gonna crossfade the track from one to another and there will be no gap. This'll help you to get used to what songs sound like without gaps because as DJs, that's our main job just so the music never stops. So this is a great way to listen to a playlist. And then also you could get mixing ideas. Maybe some songs sound good mixing with the very end with the very beginning of the next song. So it's kind of like you have a very basic DJ sitting in the front seat with you while you're driving and listening to Spotify. And I have found this to be incredibly helpful and it really made my music discovery journey so much easier when using Spotify. So I definitely recommend having this setting on. So another thing that I would recommend to do is something that 
Um, I guess some people don't know, but if there's an artist that you don't want to hear, let's just say um, I will use this one, for example. So you just click on the artist, and then over here on the three dots, you could just do don't play this artist. So like I said, I the, the way I use Spotify for DJing is I use it for music selection. Uh, and then I DJ with Tidal on my streaming software, and there's plenty of different ways to transfer your playlist. I'll show you that a little bit later or in the next video. But at, with Music Discovery, if you put on these playlists, let's, for example, we could go over here, Wedding Playlist. Now we have all of these wedding playlists that are created by users, and then we could simply transfer them into DJ Pro or whatever software that you use, and then in title, we can delete songs, add songs, and all of that. So if we look over here, I'm just going to show you quick. We go over here in my DJ software, DJ Pro AI. And then if we type in wedding playlist on, ti on, on title, we get a, we, these are, all the playlists that we get. So there's Latin Wedding, Wedding Songs 1980s, Rock and Indie Wedding, Jazz Wedding, and then Christian, Christian Dance, and then that's it. There's like four or five. Now in Spotify, there are all of these. There's literally, you could just keep going and going of wedding playlists. The same thing if you wanted specific genres of music, like rap, hip hop, EDM, house music. There's all these pre-made playlists for you. And then if you have, if there's an artist that you're never going to play when you DJ, now with this setting, by just clicking the artist and pressing these three dots, now we never have to see, never have to hear any of these, this music to waste our time because we know that we are not going to use any songs by this artist to DJ with. Now, one other thing is if you guys have a bunch of playlists that you listen to frequently, and some of these playlists have days worth of songs, hundreds and hundreds of songs. So you, it might take you a while to go through them. So if you go over here to your library, what you could do is over here. So this is a way to change the view. So this, if you have it like this over here on the right, then you will see it in the list form. But if you want to see the album covers, you could see it like that. It's just a simple button. Now, the thing I wanted to show you is you find the playlist that you like to listen to a lot. You could just simply swipe right and it'll pin to the top. So you can only have four pins at a time. So to undo it is the same way. So let's just say we wanted to use this sound of the ocean. Now it's pinned to the top. If you want to have another one like happy gaming. Now it is pinned to the top. So I found that really helpful because I have so many of these playlists and it can get pretty annoying going through all of them to find the one that you actually want to listen to. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you guys discover more music, listen to more music, and make your DJ journey a little bit easier. So if you found value in this video, you could give the video a like and you could subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I make videos about Spotify, about DJing with the iPad, DJ Pro AI, and the future of DJing. Also, if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer regarding DJing or Spotify, just ask me in the comments and I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. Thank you.